Well, 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 Candace Owens, of course, is on fire right now. And honestly, I've got to say, I like her more now than I did when she was with The Daily Wire. The Daily Wire, in my mind, is kind of coming down a notch, it's coming down a peg. Now, don't get me wrong. I still like the organization. We have to have big, powerful, strong voices out there on the right, you know, spouting conservatism, trying to influence younger generations, bringing them into the fold, right? They still have a good mission. However, they just haven't seemed to be acting on the up and up, especially with Candace Owens, because if you're not aware, Candace Owens was essentially fired from the Daily Wire for not supporting Israel enough. And then, of course, she had the infamous tweet coming out and saying, Christ is king, which apparently you're just not allowed to say. It's just wrong. You can't do that. So she's gone, right? They've parted ways. And then came along the idea of, oh, Candace Owens is going to debate Ben Shapiro on the idea of Israel going into Gaza Strip and all of that stuff, okay? However, it looks like there are some interesting developments in that situation. Let's go ahead and check this out. Candace Owens went to Twitter and said, I'd like to have a debate with Ben Shapiro about Israel. The Daily Wire ran into an arbitration proceeding and requested that an arbitrator put a gag order on Candace Owens and order her blocked, banned from criticizing the Daily Wire or Ben Shapiro in any way. And none of this was disclosed by the Daily Wire. They had led their audience to believe that they actually wanted a debate with Candace Owens. And yet at the same time, in secret, they were arguing to the arbitrator that the way in which Candace Owens asked for this debate, the expressions of criticism she had voiced about Ben Shapiro, the fact that she had liked multiple tweets that were criticizing Ben Shapiro in the Daily Wire meant that Candace Owens, by negotiating and asking for this debate, had in fact engaged in disparagement of the Daily Wire in a way that violated her contract, and they therefore convinced an arbitrator in secret that they were likely to win if they sue Candace Owens for breach of contract. Before we continue, I do want to mention, what are you going to do with your dollar? Joe Biden, of course, is causing massive inflation, is printing out more cash than ever, causing massive devaluation of your dollar. So how can you protect your investments? Well, you can go to Genesis Gold Group, convert your 401k or IRA into a gold-backed retirement account. And of course, you can access them by going to angryteachergold.com or calling 1-800-200-4653. Take control of your future, get gold back securities, protect your dollar, get back on the gold standard. And by the way, Genesis Gold Group is a faith-based organization, so you can feel confident that you're not investing in some woke corporation. Let's go ahead and get back to it. So this whole move seems really kind of scuzzy on the side of Daily Wire, right? They agree to this debate on one hand, but on the back burner, what are they doing? They're trying to say, ah, we're not really interested. Please stop this. Let's go ahead and gag Candace Owens so she can't discuss this any further. And of course, all this stuff is really coming into a boil. And today, Candace Owens actually actually posted this on Twitter. Me trying to explain the definition of anti-Semitism to my kids. Like, it's also Christ as king sometimes, but also mourning dead Palestinian children, but also harboring the belief of APAC shouldn't intimidate politicians, but also bringing up how Israel conducted a terrorist attack on Americans aboard the USS Liberty, but also discussing Bolshevism and Christian Holocaust, and also, like, reading the lawsuit against Diddy and asking meaningful questions, but also, like, defending yourself against the rabbi that's threatening your life, but also, like, defending yourself at all sometimes, but also, like, looking into the history of pornography, but also, like, mourning dead Christians in Armenia at an ill-advised time, but also like discussing the objective history of psychology and transgenderism, but also like asking any questions sometimes or wondering how the definition of anti-Semitism seems to just mutate daily. So of course, this is the big thing, okay? We on the right are always saying, hey, when you attack everybody every time for saying anything, then nothing is okay to talk about. And as you can see here, the use of this word anti-Semitic has really been a huge buzzword, but we have to understand it's okay to criticize Israel, just like it's okay to criticize the Palestinian people. It's okay to definitely criticize Hamas. So what you have to understand here is Israel's going to do what Israel does, okay? And they should be allowed to. But people have to be allowed to also criticize them when they do something you don't agree with. That is normal. But here we have Candace Owens, of course, being attacked from all sides and essentially being fired from the Daily Wire organization for espousing the simple beliefs that, oh, Christ is king, and I'm a little critical of giving all of this money to Israel when they go in and bulldoze into Palestine. So just to make my personal position clear, I have zero love for 
for Hamas, all right? I think they should not be in existence, okay? And Israel, after the attack in October, I think has a right to go ahead and defend itself to the utmost because essentially they are at war with the Palestinian people because Palestine is run by Hamas, okay? But you can be critical of that. Now, as far as U.S. involvement in all this goes, I don't think we should be sending them money. I think we can be selling them arms. I think we can be providing intelligence, but that's basically as far as it goes. These blank checks that we seem to be writing, forget about it. It's not a good idea, okay? So that's my own personal belief. And of course, does that make me anti-whatever? <laughs> I don't think so. It just makes me a person with an opinion, which is totally okay. <laughs> but now I want to see some reaction to this over on the PBD broadcast. Let's go ahead and check this out. And the company decided we lose if he goes toe to toe with Candace Owens. So shut her up. And they have the right to do it because of the contract. You, you, you think there was a meeting where they sat down and are you saying like a Ben prompting saying, I don't want to do this debate. Do you think it's a Jeremy thing saying we, we shouldn't do this debate? Is it what that type of a conversation or is it like something everybody's thinking nobody wants to say to hurt someone's ego? So they're like, look, we got to do this and we got to do protect the company. You think a second? Yeah, second? I think it's okay. this guy. My Tom, so, sorry, Tom, like is, Tom lawyer, is not that at, Vinny is not, but he's Tom, technically, um, Tom is yeah. sitting and listening, being like, oh, yeah, this is this is yeah. this is great drama. Uh, I represent the organization, which is now a huge organization with a lot of investors mm. putting money on us. Mm -hmm. We lose yeah. on this shut her down. And that's what they're doing. Look, the problem for Ben Shapiro is this. Mm. He's been very quiet. OK, that's the first tell. This is not a quiet guy. This is very personal to him. Uh, mm -hmm. His faith is the center of uh, his person, and that's fine. Uh, he is defending controversial propositions, okay? They are not controversial to him. I get it. But what he has done is allowed something that's supposed to be personal <clears throat> to become about business. Mm -hmm. And I think that that's going to be a bad look so, for him. So, you so that's a very interesting take there from Chris Cuomo, right? Ben Shapiro is in danger of losing this debate, whether it's about just, you know, optics or actually losing flat out or even just losing membership or support, right? So they don't stand to win by actually going through with this debate. So what do they do? They're going to shut it down, right? Not let it happen. And all this stuff to me, it's really fun to watch. It's really interesting, but it's useless infighting overall. I want the right to come together. I want to have a big tent with everybody. I want want the most conservative people in charge and making decisions, but I do want everyone involved. And stuff like this really does nothing other than to separate folks out. So what everyone has to understand on the right, these are principles that we supposedly stand for, is freedom of speech freedom of ideas. You have to express those and you can't sit around and castigate and hate on people that disagree with you, right? Find that common ground. That's the only way we are going to beat the left. All of this stuff is a fun sideshow, but it has to go away and we've got to come together, okay? So as usual, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, and stay safe out there, people, because they're coming after you.